Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching, my name is Sadix and we're going to do problem 5.35, okay? It says, determine the reactions at point A, B and C needed to support the force of 300 newtons. So we have our pipe that is like an L pipe, we have our 300 newtons over here and we have these smooth surfaces that are at A, B and C to machine my pipe, okay? So in order to do this problem, um, we are going to draw a free body diagram. Okay, and our pipe looks something similar like this. Now, we have our 300 newtons in this direction, so we got 300 newtons. Now, on each of these surfaces, A, B, and C, we're going to represent these surfaces by a surface. Uh, surface force that is normal to exactly the surface. So at point C, the normal will be going up. So in this case, at C, we'll have a force that we're going to call F C going up. At point B, a similar case, but instead of going up, we'll be going down. So we're going to call it F of B. Now at A, we'll have a force going up and to the left normal to that surface so we're gonna be like this not going up, I'm sorry, it's going down and to the left okay, and we're gonna call it F of A now we know that this 300 newton's force with respect to the y-axis is a 30 is a 30 degree angle f of c is going up f of b is going down what is the angle of this force with respect to the x-axis now if we check over here we have our 30 degree angle that does with respect to the x-axis and this is normal to that surface because if we were to extend this surface we see that from point B all the way to point uh, let's call this point D there is a 90 degree with this line and the, and the AB line okay so basically this 30 degrees is telling us that our force with respect to the x-axis is also at 30 degrees so 30 degrees Okay, now if we want to find f of c, f of b, and f of a, we're going to do our summatory of forces at moments and find them all. So let's start with the summatory of forces in the x direction. So, what do I have in the x direction? Well, I have a negative x component of these 300 newtons, so it's going to be negative 300 multiplied by the sine in this case. Why the sine? Because in this case my sine, which is the opposite, is the opposite of this 30 degree angle, is going to represent my x component. So 300 multiplied by the sine of 30 degrees, good, plus the x component of f of a. Well, it's going to be f of a multiply by the cosine of 30 degrees and all this should add up to zero okay so if we solve for a we got the f of a is going to be equal to 300 multiplied by the sine of 30 degrees all divided by the cosine of 30 degrees and this should be equal to so if we use our calculator we can check that out we got 300 multiplied by the sine of 30 degrees divided by the cosine of 30 that will give me 173 newtons so 173 newtons okay so we found our first answer now we can do the sum of 30 of what should we do the moment or forces? So we can do the summatory of forces in the y direction. What do I have? Well, I have negative of these 300 newtons in the y direction. So I have 
negative 300 multiplied by the cosine of 30. Remember, this angle is with respect to the y-axis, so the cosine, the adjacent, is going to be the y-direction, minus the y-component of f of a, which is going to be f of a multiplied by the sine of 30 degrees, minus f of v plus f of c should be equal to zero, okay? So if I solve for f of c minus f of v, this should be equal to the addition of these two negative guys when we pass them to the other side, if they become positive. So what do I have? I got 300 cosine of 30 degrees plus f of a, which we just found, multiplied by the sine of 30 degrees, and this is equal to 346.4, okay, 346.4, okay, now we're not done, we need to find another equation and substitute and find what f of c and f of b are, okay, so let's do the summatory of moment at which, at which point, so we can do the summatory of moment at my point A, for example. So I'm going to do a point A. Okay? Now, I'm going to decompose this guy into the Y and the X components. So for the Y component, I'll have a positive moment. So I'm going to have 300 multiplied by the sine. The, so the one that is Y is going to be cosine of 30 degrees multiplied by the distance. Well, what is the distance between this and my point A, for example? Well, I will add them up, I will add all these numbers up, which equal to 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5, that gives me 1, plus 0.15, that will give me 1.15. Okay, now, which other force I have? Well, I have the 300 in the x direction, so I will have now, this force is going to be clockwise, so it's going to be a negative, so I'll have negative 300 multiplied by the sine of 30 degrees multiplied by the distance. So, what is the distance from this point that is going like this from A? So, the distance between this point and my distance A is equal to 0 0.26. Okay, good. Now, f of c is also negative, so I'll have f of c multiplied by the distance with respect to a, which is going to be 0 0.5 plus 0 0.15, that will give me 0 0.65. Then I'll have plus positive, because that will be will rotate my system counterclockwise, so I'll have f of v multiplied by, what is the distance? Well, the distance is only 0 0.15, so 0 0.15, okay? And that's all the forces, and all this should be equal to 0, okay? So I'm going to add these two guys, and I'm going to leave these guys the way they are. So let's add them up. We will have 300 cosine of 30 degrees multiplied by 1.15. And then we're going to subtract 300 sine of 30 degrees multiplied by 0 0.26. And this gives me a total of, so I will have a total of 259.78 minus 0 0.65 of f of c plus 0 0.15 of f of v, and all this should be equal to 0, okay? Now, I'm going to solve for f of c in this equation. So f of c has to be equal to 346.4 plus f of v. And then I'm going to take it from here, and then I'm going to plug it in here, okay? Now, I'll have negative... 0 0.65 multiplied by 
346.4 plus f of b, so 346.4 plus f of b plus 0.15 of f of b should be equal to negative, so I'm gonna take this positive number and pass it to the other side, will become negative, we can approximate it to 260, okay, so we approximate this guy instead of 259.78, okay, now, I'm going to multiply this, this 0 0.65 to this number and f of b, so I will have negative 0 0.65 f of b minus 0 0.65 multiplied by my 346.4 is equal to 225 plus 0 0.15 f of b should be equal to negative 260, okay? Now, if we add these two guys up, we'll find out that this is equal to 0 0.5 f of b, so this is a five, okay? And this should be equal to negative 260 plus 225, so negative 260 plus 225 is equal to negative 3, 4.6, and then if we solve for f of b, we will find out that f of b is going to be equal to 34 divided by 0 0.5, that will give me a total of 69.2 newtons. Okay, so we found a, we found b, all we need to do is find c, and since we know B already, we can use this equation and plug back B back. So we'll do 346.4 plus 69.2, and that will give me a total of 416 if we round it up. And we found it also. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions or any comments, please just post it down below, and I'll see you guys in the next week.